Hi there and welcome back. It's Tanya from Sati Treasures. Hello there. Um, so we're going to start um, the first altered file folder. Now I've not got a clue um, how I'm doing it. Um, just sitting here with my lemon sip and my cup of tea. Um, I've put extra, extra honey in my lemon sip. Um, yeah, so I, I've not thought of how I'm doing it. Um, I'm going to use the uh, USA um, letter size one uh, first, which is um, a little bit narrower than the UK one. Um, so my thought is, what am I doing with that? <laughs> how am I putting a journal in it? Um, I've done that, you know, a variety of different ways. Uh, I've used one of these sides as a pocket and, um, you know, pushed it down. Um, I've done sometimes this is a, like an expanding um, pocket and having it in there. I've also uh, added an envelope and put it in there. Um, I've sewn them in and I've also done them um, on elastics so you, you know or I've even done them separate as if you know this is your flippy uh, flappy element that you can write all your little bits in and then you've got a standalone um, journal as well so there's lots of, of different uh, possibilities. Um, I know a lot of people do this kind of thing. I think I've done a few um, like that. Um, I don't know, I wasn't, I don't think I was a fan. I think I did like a trio one. Um, but yeah, I don't know why. I prefer doing, doing mine um, like that. So, the last file folder I did, um, I did it with the UK one, which is a craft, um, and I kind of cut these down, so these was like two pages um, inside, and I did say, oh, I think I'll try that the next time I do one of these. So, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm not sure at this point if I'm going to put elastics in or if I'm going to sew it in, but... I'm wanting a quarter of an inch or do I want a half inch I'm going to do two eighths each side which will make this about five and a half um, across so I'm not so concerned about oh it's not very wide because we're going to have um, like four pages within it and a journal and things what can flip out to make um, you know extra extra length so I think that's um, the way that I'm going to go now this one I want to make it a little bit more fresher um, looking so this is one of the toppers uh, that I made in one of the videos. I will put the playlist at the top of uh, the description. Everything that you see, I will have made on camera. And um, yeah, I made this and I really like it. So I think that's gonna go on the front. Um, I've got some different envelopes out. Um, and I'm going for the, for the cream. These are lovely. Oh, they're different. But yeah, got those ones off eBay, creative colour ones. And I like these ones because, you know, this is a bit, not a pain to cover, but um, yeah, these are just a lot easier to, to cover the, the backs of. Uh, it feels really nice uh, stuff. Anyway, um, so I want this one more um, fresh. This was a page out of a book. It had just got uh, daisies on, so that's going to, going into the journal so i've printed a couple of these out i don't know what kit these have come from they're not a kit from nanine um i have a folder what i've put um like backing papers and i've got like a green and, and brown folder and it was just in there but i really do like it and it does remind me of daisies even though you know there's no daisies in there so I wanted to like freshen um, 
this this up um and and introduce just a little bit more uh green into it so and i've just printed some of the kit out i've printed some of it uh two to a page to you know cover some of these smaller envelopes i've not printed a lot out this is this is kind of it um obviously if i need to print more out i can print more out um I may re-look at this because well, I don't know. I do like that together. So we'll see. They're the papers I've I've got out anyway. Um, the rest are all from the Daisy kit, apart from um, those green ones. And I've picked some um, things out what what we've made. And again, I've gone for more lighter um, ones. So that's um, some kind of flip out so I might not need as many envelopes as, as um, I've got out because a couple of these are um, flip out um, envelopes got a couple of notebooks that's a little flippy outy that's a flip up oh and it oh no it doesn't I thought um, that was a but it's not it's stuck down and then that goes downwards so um, they're like the pieces that, that I've picked out for it, whether I've managed to use all of them, I don't know. But they was the lighter ones. Um, and I have got uh, my Memento Sink out in peanut, brittle and bamboo leaves. I've got my leaf um, stencil out and my script stamp. And I'm going to do it with tea dye uh, for a change. So I think first I'm going to get the scoreboard out and um, we'll get it scored. So let's, let's have a look. So half is there. So that's five and three quarters. So if I score at five and a half... Now I'm pressing really, uh, you know, hard. Ooh. What's going so well? <laughs> so well. Okay, so that's that. And then I'm going to go at six. So we'll give it a half inch. Uh, spine not only will that allow for a journal it will give us that space inside um, oh, must be thicker at that part um, it will give us more um, space for for all the flips and and stuff so that's that that's, oh that's lovely I don't think I really need to need to score that so let's um, see if we can. That's it. Let me get my um, put that back and get my um. I'm just gonna call it a butter knife. <laughs> um, let me get my butter knife out. And, oh, I'm getting I'm getting a roller out. My goodness. Right. So let's give it a good. Good old pressing down. Yeah, that'll do. And then fold this one down. Like so. Okay. And we've got a nice a nice half inch spine. Yeah, so I think, did I say that this is now five and a half? Yeah, five and a half. So that's pretty good, pretty good size. So what I'm going to do is cut along this bottom um, to, to the spine uh, part. Now, I'm not the greatest at um, cutting. <laughs> um, so I think I'm going to cut it going to try and and get it right 
right through the I'm not the back to do that, you know. Yeah, I'm just rubbish. Absolutely rubbish at going going straight. Right, so that's to that side and then we'll go down this one. Oof, that took ages. <laughs> Oof. Right, so now we've got got that. So yeah, as such we've now got, you know, four uh four pages. Right, so Obviously, we'll we will we'll, 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 <laughs> we'll be sticking that down uh, to there. Um, but I think before I stick anything down, um, I'm going to do my normal of um, going around all the um, edges and um, on all all sides. Um, so I'm going to do that that with the tea dye. Um, I had the tea dye one uh, last year. I was gifted it um, when I was doing Edith Holden last year because it, it does go really nice. It's got that pinky uh, tone to it. Uh, it's a bit more gentle. So I'll do that. Now, I like to ink and stencil around the edges. And if you've watched me do... Um, or to file folders before you'll know it's because I don't I don't measure sometimes my mats aren't you know perfectly um, measured out and I just think if it's stenciled underneath if you go wrong and something's too short or or what have you you've got something nice in the background for just in case and um yeah and that's why why i do it and i don't know i just kind of know that it's it's there um and if i could do perfect mats what i would do is of that you know eighth all the way um around that gap so you could actually see um all the stenciling and stamping but you know, I'm just not that good at maths, and and it doesn't tend to <laughs> tend to work out. But that's the reason uh, why why I do do it. So I think I'm going to ink there, and I just think at this point I don't really know, you know, what I'm doing with it, um, and things like that, and. Yeah, I think just do it, do it all in, in one go and um, then it's done. So I'm going to go all the way um, around, we've done the back and then I shall be back with you. Okay, I've gone all around um, that. So I was thinking as I was doing it about why I do actually do that and I think really now it's become kind of... A bit like a, a ritual of of getting me into to the project. I think as I'm inking and things, it it gets me into you know the mode and um, yeah, it gets me thinking about um, you know where I could add things and and things like that. So yeah, maybe it is just now just part of that that ritual of 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 getting getting into the the mood. I mean, like today, I'm f full of cold. Um, it's my first day of um, testing negative uh, with COVID. Um, I've still, you know, got a really bad uh, cold and feel really tired. So, you know, I was up a bit late. Um, had a quick tidy round. Um, been to the post office because I've not posted uh, in two two weeks. 
Um, so anybody who's waiting for a Patreon Happy Mail and anyone who won uh, competitions uh, last month or um, a, an Etsy order, then everything has been posted um, to you today. Um, and it's also been Easter here, so the last, you know, four days have been um, Easter holidays. Um, so yeah, you know, you're kind of running about doing doing what you're doing and then you come and sit at your desk and it's like, oh, I've got this pile of stuff, what <laughs> what I left from yesterday. Um and I think it just gets you into into that mode, um, I think. So I'm just thinking these whether I'm going to use them or not. Um at this point I don't know you know, if I'll be cutting the tops off, the bottoms off, uh, the side off. But um, if if the majority of it's done, then when I come to actually, you know, putting everything in, um, I've not got tons of, of inking then to, to do. Um, and I think it, it starts to change these from envelopes and, and you know, uh, an office file folder um, to to something, um, you know, it, it's starting to to take its its shape. I know I'm going to be cutting this off about to there, but um, so yeah, I think it it's that as well. Starting to just see it all all take take shape, and you know, not now seeing it as as an envelope. It is um, a flipping the waiting. <laughs> just waiting to to flip and flap and um you know be pretty so yeah i think i think that is might be the main reason why i do actually uh do it so and it, it just gives you oh just you know five minutes to catch catch your breath um before before you make a start so that's all those inked around um i'm going to go round again i'll do it for a couple of minutes and then i'll i'll pause and and do the rest um off screen so just gonna go go around about an inch um you know round like so it really doesn't take take very very long it's probably quicker this bit is than than the actual um inking inking around uh the edges i should have really done the tea dye uh with the brush but i do i do like it you know right on right on the end um it's fine with the brush i still then want to do to do the actual um and i ought to be a bit softer with this um stencil really because it's sticking up in in places it was only a cheap one and i've had it oh good good 18 months and i have used it loads um i was looking for like a tim holtz uh leafy one but um i couldn't find one so i don't know if there is one um or not so go all around here like so and then I will use the stamp and just stamp um, with the peanut brittle um, with the script stamp so I really have liked uh, using these colours with the with the daisy this bamboo stalk really is like a, a grassy green I think um, especially that that first um, grass, you know, what starts growing um, in the spring when all the new roots um, are coming coming up. So yeah, that's that. Right, shall I pause again? See you in a tick. Okay, so they've all got uh, leaves around them. Um, I feel like it's all coming coming together. You're probably thinking, I don't know what you're doing that for. <laughs> so obviously, you know, this is, um, you don't have to do do this part at all. Um, yeah, I just like doing that. <laughs> OK, 
okay so i'm gonna go all around the edges i've kept the green out and the leaf stencil for uh when i do start cutting the envelopes down and stuff just to touch up where where i need um to touch up so i thought I'd best not put them away because i'm bound to um need them so what are we gonna do next i think well, we'll best start thinking where we're going to put the envelopes. And then there's a couple of those um, ephemera pieces, which are pieces that I want to, um, you know, know where the, they're going to go. Because uh, they also flip out. So we shall start um, laying uh, the foundations, I suppose. I suppose this is preparing the foundations. And then, yeah, lay the foundations. I like that. <laughs> um, why I've been stenciling and, and stuff, I was, um, when I said it reminds me of, you know, the new new grass, um, I kind of went into thinking about, um, you know, when I was a, a child and laying on the lawn um, and picking daisies. And um, I always used to look in the soil, um, in the grass, and I used to love it when you, you'd see ants um, and, you know, all creepy crawlers, all just, you know, going around, doing doing whatever ever they was doing, getting on with their uh, day's work. And, you know, they'd all be hurrying, hurrying about. I think ants are, are amazing. I mean, I don't like them when they, they bite you because, it, gosh, it's painful. But um, yeah, they're they're amazing, um, especially when you see them and they're all off somewhere, and you know they're in this kind of pattern. Um, yeah, they they're brilliant. Um, I know when my oldest uh, children was was little, we bought um, an ant hill mold, uh, mound, um, and it was um, this big mound of of soil. Um, in like a, a plastic um, dome kind of thing and um, yeah they just used to scurry scurry about you know doing doing what they was doing um, absolutely amazing um, there's one at uh, Woolerton Hall as well which is um, in Nottinghamshire now where um, I live um, yeah they used to have you know a massive um, one who used to take the children children there. I think there was one at, in Nottingham Castle um, as well. I used to take the children to Nottingham Castle uh, quite often. Oh, they always had different, um, you know, exhibitions on and and things. They always had kind of different stands in there and, and stuff. The children used to love it. And there was at the time they was like free you know free to to get in i don't think anything's free free now which is a shame it's very educational and so we, we also had um but like butterflies um and we had this net um and you'd hatch um the butterfly and then on a certain day after they hatched um you'd you'd let them out and you'd put fruit down um, and the, the children used to love uh, watching that. I did do it a couple of times with, with Elna and the grandchildren do it now. I've sent them eggs a few times because they do it um, through through the post. Right, I think that's that's all, all done. So that's, um, that's our foundation um, ready. So we've got this piece, haven't we, what's uh, um, flippy done? And I must remember that I need to start thinking of it as, as four, not not as just this. So we've got this, which, oh, that's going to fit brilliantly anywhere. So let's keep that. Now, normally one of the bigger envelopes I like um, to the side because that... Um, that gives you, you know, a lot more extension. So that's going to want quite a bit uh, coming coming off. So maybe that would be 
um, you know, I might not even bother putting any paper behind um, that. I could con finish that off, couldn't I really? I think that looks really nice um, on there. So we did that. I wouldn't want that flap there, but I could open this up, put that flap inside um, there, so we would have that you open it and you open it, so that would give you, you know, quite a bit more um, length, width, sorry. So that's an idea because that's going to be opened up anyway because I need to um, cut it cut it down. So let's um, let's start by cutting this down because wherever it goes it, it needs cutting cutting down. Just getting a pencil. So if we did it to about there, would probably say that's about five. I hope it fits lengthways in my uh, trimmer. Oh, just. Ooh, it is just as well. So, yeah, it's it's five. So, that kind of gives you half a cent, uh, half an inch. So, that's this first um, piece. I'll keep that because could be could be a, a belly bang, band in the making couldn't it so let's say um, oh now I hope that still fits fits on there if it doesn't it's fine it can go somewhere else let's have a look yeah so I think that's what I'm going to do I'm going to completely um, cover that in um, in the stenciling and stamping. I think that would look really, really nice. So let's, let's get this cream back out. So does anybody know, does Tim Holtz do um, a stencil what's just... Um, leaves um i want the reason i want it to be tim Holtz is just because i like this um shape and now i'm keeping them on uh this ring it's just um it, you know it's just nice to it's just nice <laughs> it's just nice to keep them together um uh, yeah i didn't know where i was going with that but yeah it's it's just nice i just like it it's just an excuse to buy Tim Holtz, isn't it, really? But hey, hey, <laughs> if there's a little bit of an excuse. But no, I mean, his stencils are, are very nice, aren't they? Yeah, I love that. Okay, okay. Um, I'm going to just give that a bit more tea staining down the, um, down the edge. Yeah, so if that went on there like that, or you in frame, that would flip down like so. So we'd need something um, on there. Yeah, so I think I'm pretty certain that that's going to going to go there, um, and then I'm thinking the next envelope can that part can be stuck um, in there because I'm not going to have the inside of this as as a pocket. I'm just going to use it as as like um, a page extension. So that would then. Um, go like that so that would go there that would go like so 
So we'd have that, and then you would turn it over. You would have this bit, and then you would turn it over. Yes, I like that. So let's just leave um, that like that for now. Then here, would I want something flipping out? Oh, I bet, I bet I would. <laughs> So maybe if we had um, that there, and then I've got that little envelope which actually flicks the other way, but it could go there, like so. I think that would probably be enough on that side because obviously you're going to want more pockets, you know, on top. So. I think that's probably enough uh, flip outs on on that side um, and then oh I think I'm gonna need some more more envelopes out have I got anything else what flips that flips out I would probably have that um, on front of an envelope and again I, I don't think I would cover that I think I would keep that um, like that yeah, I'm liking that. And does it, just have a look at this um, that green paper. Yeah, I think that goes really nice. Perhaps need to grunge these up a little bit, a little bit more. But yeah, I do like that. So if that was on this side, I wouldn't want to do that. And I would probably be, want to have that as a, um, open that up and have that as a pocket. But I could tuck that in there. Yeah, that would probably be, be nice. Um, I'm sure we've got another flippy out piece. No pockets, pocket. Oh yes, I have. In fact, I have two. So we've got this one, which has got a pocket there, and it flips out, and it's got uh, a pocket there. So, and then we've got this pair. Oh, that's a that's an upward one. So that might be nice on there. Thinking that the journal would be here. So there'd be, be a divide. Yeah, I'm quite liking that. And then we turn that over. And then we've got this piece, which really needs to be on a, um, a thingy one. So what I'm going to do is take that piece off. I would have that one. On there like so yeah that one there turn it over that one there what would flip up that one what goes open that's a pocket um, there and that would flip and that would be on there and then turn that, that one could go um, there, yeah, and I think, I think that would do, because we've got all, all that, um, and obviously everything wants uh, filling as well, so, let me think, um, what shall we do first? Well, I think the ones that we know that we're not going to be covering uh, that front, we're going to need to cover that back. So maybe that would be uh, a good place to to start. So if we've covered the back of this, got this stuck in, that stuck on, and then we could stick stick that down. Yes. So that's what we'll we'll do. Okay, okay. So that would be like that. 
on that one. Now that's got that um, that green on. So that would go oh, very nice behind it, wouldn't it? So yeah, I think I'll cover that with that. And I think I'm going to grunge this up just a little bit uh, more. These have all been inked around um, ready. So I'll move that out of the way uh, for now. I'm going to pause for a second. I'm going to finish my um, lem sip. And I'm going to grunge around here a little bit more. And then we'll get, get that stuck, stuck down. So see you in a tick. Okay, I've grunged that up um, a little bit more. So this piece, all it was, was a, a large journal card. And at the back, I just put a pocket and then there's a big uh, tag and I've stenciled at the back. So that's all uh, that piece is. If you don't have a big journal card, I often um, you journal pages um print this off um in card and then you know you've got this is then a large um journal card you would need to cut it down slightly but um yeah i often do that as well if i'm um how I've cut the file folder open this time. When I don't cut it open, I often use that in between as uh, big pockets, and um, that's how I do my journal cards normally uh, for that. So I'm going to pop that down. I think I'll go middle, middle-ish, and I've just um, it's just a little uh, tab. Um, oh gosh, what's it called? a hinge it's a hinge so i'm going to put plenty of glue on that i did mean to uh, fill this art glitter glue up i know it's um it's probably about a quarter of the bottle left but um yeah it gets a bit difficult to to um squeeze out i find i don't know if anything else needs filling i think the cloud could do with filling everything else is is okay okay let's try and get it middle-ish let's bring it over just a little bit rather than have it right into that side yeah I think that would be be nice so we'll open it up and give it a good Got to press press down. So that's um that's that part. Yeah, is that straight? I think it is. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I like that. Nice. Right. So this back part, I'm not using this as um an opening at all. So when I'm gluing this down, I'm just going to glue it straight to it. If I was using this as a pocket then I would glue down this side and around here um, and keep this, you know, glueless um, so it didn't glue the pocket down. That sounded like a load of waffle. <laughs> Was it a load of waffle? It's funny um, when you've got a cold and um, you feel as if um, you're like in a, a goldfish bowl. And um, yeah, I feel like I'm, um, yeah, like speaking in a bubble kind of um, thing. So <coughs> if I'm not making any sense, I am really sorry. But um, yeah, I must, um, must carry on, soldier on. <laughs> a lot of you have been so lovely. Um, you know, saying what, what a trooper I am carrying on filming and stuff. I did have um, four days off um, of non-filming while I was poorly. Um, but I can't see this to put it back on. Um, yeah, I was starting to run out of, run out of videos. So, and um, if I'm not filming, what else am I going to do? <laughs> what else? Don't make me clean up. Please don't make me clean. Um, so, yeah. I'm gonna say it's my my happy place. Um, I get 
quite fed up if um oh now should i be matting this because you know i've done all this wonderfulness and um uh, yeah i'm just gluing straight over yeah i am going to just mat mat that um yeah okay I have to think about that. Right. Yeah, I'm gonna say, and if I didn't come on, I mean, Paul Ryan doesn't want to listen to me waffle on for an hour about absolutely anything. And, um, you know, you guys are <laughs> polite enough to, to listen to me <laughs> or put me on mute. <laughs> Um, I can tell when he, he's put me on mute, he just looks at me vacantly. Um, but you know, you could get away with it and I wouldn't I wouldn't know. So yeah, I'm I'm lonely when I don't um don't upload. Um it really does become become a you know, it's what you do. Um even Sam wouldn't be well enough to go um into work but i'm well enough to to sit here and play play with some paper so i'm gonna cut around here as as careful as i can doesn't particularly matter if i catch the envelope because like i say we're not using it as as a pocket it's just like another um page that's um that's the way that, that I see them. It's just an extension of a page. So I shall go around here and not using this as a pocket as now um it's gives the envelope a lot more stability and because we've got this, you know, which is pretty heavy, um it, it's just made the whole thing a lot more stable. Okay, around here. That's lovely. Okay, so that's that. And then I want to attach this piece. All this was, it's just an envelope. Again, I've just put like a belly band piece on and then it's just got card inside which won't come out <laughs> oh it's um sir william morris postcard what i've cut down oh yeah love that i have to see if um nanine's got that print i really like that so that goes in there looks as if this needs just a little bit of of glue there um yeah so i did all ink splashes and stuff on on this one I said to do it on a um, a trash Tuesday. So anybody who normally watches the trash Tuesday, you might be thinking, oh, this isn't trash Tuesday, and it's Tuesday. <laughs> um, I I wanted to um get these file folders uh finished off before we get to the end of the the month because I've got a new um exciting project coming up next month um you will find out very very soon so yeah i wanted to get the daisies uh finished off so that's going to get stuck into uh there like so oh that's lovely so i'm just going to put some glue on this flap here Like so, and stick that in. Do we want it towards the top or do we want it? I think I'm going to go towards the bottom because I think on that next piece, does that is that thing going from the top down or is that the page after? But yeah, I think I'll have this on the, on the bottom. So that's that and it, it opens and, and closes lovely. So then I am going to close uh, this this up. Like I say, you could keep it open if I hadn't have glued 
um, that paper down obviously but um, yeah you could keep this open but I just think it would be a lot better um, closed. So I'm just squirting some, some glue inside and then just trying to get as close to the edge to seal it, seal it up and then if anything's open and that I can always go in with the um, art glitter. Okay, I'm going to go down that with uh, the tea stain. Right, so, so that really is our first, first page. That's lovely. Okay, so have I got anything that could, could go behind here? I'm wondering... No, it's a bit too wide. That's a shame. That would have fitted. Well, it wouldn't have fitted nice on there because it's, it's too big, but you know what I mean. I don't think that's the right piece. I'm feeling like I want something um, like that. Well, that would be nice, though. And then when you tuck that out, you still see, see that niceness. That might be too tall. That was stuck there. That would be up a bit. Mm, it's a little bit too tall that one, but yeah, that would have been nice. What else have we got? I've got the My Porch Prints um, one, which that would be nice actually. Let's um, let's try that. What are we like for a minute? So we'll we'll finish in a minute. Let's cut that off. So if that was there, and you've got to remember that bit's not going to be there. So if we put that right down, and then that there, that's going to be too tall too, isn't it? But that looks okay. I think that um, tag shape. I quite like that. And that would sit in there. What do we think? I'm liking that green uh, with that. Yeah, I think that goes nice. Because it's nice and soft. Colour wise, it, it goes really nice. So I'm going to do it. I'm just going to do it. I'd already inked around it, so it didn't really need any ink. So I'll just fold this down. So did I say this is from my porch print? So um, it's the Daisy Guest Checks. I've got the Guest Checks in something, something else as well. I can't remember. Um, oh, wait, I think it's the Thistles. Because, um, yeah, I think I've used that. I, I've used both of these actually with Edith Holden. They are very, they remind me of Edith Old and they're that colour. Right, so if we do that right down the bottom, that will then cover that bit up. And that can go there. Like so. Yeah. So I'm going to stick that down and uh, put put that in might cut this down just a fraction and um, so it's not sticking out quite as much and obviously I don't want the tag bigger than oh yeah it is it's a lot bigger yeah I'm going to cut the bottom off and um, then stick it down so I'm going to call that a video uh, for now I think we've made um, a really good uh, start and um, yeah I'll see you tomorrow Bye for now.